The extraordinary story of the original red cactus salsa started with a conversation. In 1994-95 was when the Lord all of a sudden spoke to my heart one morning and said, you know, I want you to do a salsa business. I'm like, a salsa business? You know, he's like, yeah, you know, the one in your family, the sweet salsa, I'd like you to put that on the market. I'm like, well, you know, Lord, I don't know anything about sweet salsa. Undaunted, Steve Lenbauer and his mom worked on perfecting his Aunt Gracie's old family recipe. Young, unmarried, and a new Christian with a promising career as an insurance supervisor, Steve hadn't been looking for a new direction. That's until he got laid off. He used all his savings and severance to manufacture the product. I loaded up my trunk and put some 12-packs some of product into the back, and I started calling just on grocery stores. Two years later, struggling with low cash flow and doubt, Steve wavered about what he heard. I had almost went broke trying to take care of bills. Sales were good, but I wasn't for sure how to quite get it out there and grow it. And I was also a young guy wanting to start a family. And I finally just screamed out at the Lord. I'm like, Lord, what are we doing? I'm like, I'm going flat broke. I've got a degree. I could be making money. Now look at me. Look at me now. Steve took a job to support himself and worked his salsa business before and after his nine to five. After two more years of long hours and endless miles on the road, a knock on his door brought the solution to his problems. A friend's brother shared with him a life-changing principle. Then out of the blue, he said, Steve, I don't think you're tithing. And as a servant of the Lord, you need to start tithing. You know, I had that look, and I'm like, well, yeah, you're right, and I don't. And you're right, I should. It was just like an eye-opener. I mean, the Lord tells us to give up our first fruit. He tells us in Malachi to tithe. Steve decided he was going to tithe. Four years later, Red Cactus Salsa was fully supporting his growing family. I was tithing and even probably going beyond the tithe. In 2003, I was making around 40,000 and I was able to tithe 4,700 every year that I continually gave. My salary continued to go up to be able to bring up four kids. And not only that, I mean, it's more than just even my salary. I mean, the blessings of family and, and children and just spiritual blessings, so many things that he gives. He far surpasses out, gives us back. Every year, the demand for the salsa grew. The company expanded with more products, office space, and a warehouse. In 2016, Steve began tithing off the business profits. But you know, we can't outgive him. And I believe, you know, if we support him and the work of getting his name out there, that um, somehow he, he takes care of us because he cares about us so much. I know that in my now 26 years of doing this, we have been told by the accounts and even the bigger accounts we go to that it must be an act of God for us to do what we do because we're just a little old salsa that was out of a little old town that now is, you know, covering half of the nation. During lockdown, when the world binged on Netflix and snacks, Red Cactus Salsa sales skyrocketed to $3 million. Steve's income increased 40%. By the time 2020 was over and we're moving into 2021, Red Cactus at that point was doing so well, I mean like crazy well, that we were begin to become debt free and no longer have to operate on a loan. While other snack products lost sales momentum in 2021, Red Cactus maintained their new all time high. If not even increased more, so everything that we gained in 2020 continued to go. And I believe all that was for the fact that we stayed our stance in God, kept the tithe, and kept moving forward in Him. God always somehow honors those that honor Him. In January 2022, Steve was hospitalized with COVID. While recovering at home, he discovered the 700 Club and Operation Blessing. It's incredible to see how much they're doing, you know, and I thought as a person and as a business, we love to feed the hungry right here in our community. Here's a group that is feeding the hungry on a worldwide level. I thought, what a great deal. I instantly, that moment, got online, put in my monthly pledge and began to put it on there. And all I can tell you is after I did that, I had the, like, the warmest feeling come over me. Like the first time I learned to tithe and I finally just did it and my life was blessed. If I've learned anything along the way is you cannot outgive him. He tells us to tithe, not that he has to have our money, but it's more of a hard issue that if we do it, it opens us up to him and everything that he can do and he will do because he promises to take care of us. 